Hello, I'm Sylvia Wakana and welcome back to my channel. I get a lot of questions about Japanese rice, from how to make it to different types and uses. Today I teamed up with JFC to go over the differences between two of the most popular types of Japanese rice, short grain rice and medium grain rice. And before we get started, make sure to hit that like button if you're into rice or Japanese food and make sure to subscribe to this channel. In today's video for the short grain rice, I'll be using tamanishiki, which is a premium California grown Japanese short grain rice. And for the medium grain rice, I will be using nishiki, which is a California grown Japanese medium grain rice. Okay, first, let's talk about short grain rice. Short grain rice is the most commonly consumed rice in Japan. They are short, sort of round and plump, and they stick together really well when cooked because of the high starch content. While short grain rice is great for all different types of Japanese dishes, it is especially good for nigiri sushi and onigiri, which are rice balls, because of the texture, the way the rice clings together, especially after the rice cools down because it doesn't really get hard. Within short grain rice, there are different varieties like koshikari or hitomebore, and these vary in flavor, texture, density, and luster. Oh, the rice is done. Tamanishiki, like I said, is a California grown rice. It is carefully grown and harvested in Sacramento, but it is a combination of koshikari and yumegokochi varietals, which are varietals that can be found in Japan as well. This combination gives the rice a lot of flavor, slight sweetness, really nice shine, and very good texture, which makes it very unique. This rice also only needs a light wash, while most Japanese rice will need a heavy wash. Overall, it's a really tasty and good short grain rice that can be used for all different kinds of dishes. And I actually used it recently to make hand rolls temaki, um, which I will be posting later. So make sure to hit that bell button to get notifications so you don't miss that video. Now let's talk about medium grain rice. Medium grain rice is more long than it is round, and due to the history of this type of Japanese rice in California, it is actually the most common type of Japanese rice found in the United States. This rice is also super versatile and well-balanced in flavor and texture, but the texture is a little different than short grain rice. It is not quite as bouncy, so it might not be the absolute best option for dishes like nigiri sushi. While short grain rice is better for nigiri sushi, medium grain rice is actually better for American style rolls. Um, they hold up better with all the different ingredients and the sauces and everything. And if you saw my how to make sushi rice video, I actually used Nishiki's medium grain rice um, for the chirashi donburi that I made in the video. So if you haven't seen it, I will link it up here. So overall, short grain rice and medium grain rice are both extremely versatile, but they do have a little bit of difference. I highly recommend trying both to see which one you like better. I will have the two different types of rice that you could order online linked below. If you have any more questions about Japanese rice, feel free to leave them in the comments or you can message me on Instagram. Hopefully this helped clear up a little bit of the differences between short grain and medium grain rice. And if there's anything else you want to learn about, let me know in the comments too. I hope everyone is having a wonderful holiday season so far and I will see you in my next video. Mata ne!